All right, now let's go ahead and use this Folium map to plot the worldwide cases on the world map. You already, you, you know, we already have uh, installed this Folium with the pip install Folium. All right, so let's go ahead, uh, install this, uh, start working with Folium maps. Folium maps. All right, so we start with temp is equal to df and there we have df dot date is equal to is equal to max df and then date. What it does, it takes the latest data for all the countries and uh, then it is displaying here. And the latest data for all the countries are available for 9th of May 2020. So there it has a confirmed recovered death along with the latitude and longitude. Let's go ahead and create a folium map. We can create a folium map with m is equal to folium dot map. Then we have their location. And the location we are going to start with the 0, 0, that's the longitude and the latitude, a tiles, all right. So the tiles means the map which we want to show there. If you don't know much about this, you can press shift and double tab, you will get all the information about those folium maps. So this is the complete description. So the tiles I'm going to use here, cartoon positron. So that's the actually inside a single code we have their cartoon positron. Open street, we have already used open street map, but here I'm gonna use a different type of map. And minimum zoom, I'm gonna set that to one. And max zoom, that I'm gonna set that the only the four time. And uh, then I'm going to set here a zoom start is equal to 1. Then we have here a far, for loop i in range of 0. And uh, then I'm going to create with the length of temp. Then we are going to plot there a folium circle. So we have there a folium dot circle and the circle will be plotted on those position where COVID cases are recorded. So we have their location. A location is equal to that we have inside the temp dot i lock that's mean index location for those particular i I mean for those particular uh, the country and then I'm going to take that's the latitude. And then similarly, I'm going to put it for longitude as well. So there we have longitude. After that, after this, I'm going to put their color. Color, I'm going to put their crimson color. All right. So these are the inbuilt uh, color mapping. So we have their crimson color and then I'm going to define here a fill type. A fill type I'm also going to define there a crimson color. So the full color, its edge and under filling will be with the same color. That's the crimson color. And after this, I'm going to set here a tool tip. But before that, let's go ahead and see if we can see this M. So this is the folium map. And if you plot it, it says that there is no radius defined. So what we need to do, we need to also pass here radius and the tool tips. So I'm going to pass here tool tips first. Tooltip says that 
what are the information which we want our uh, which we want in our map so i'm going to put there the country name province confirmed cases and death cases all right perfect so let's go ahead and put that you can put that with the li li means that's the list actually and then we have there the bold cases that's mean actually that will be displayed into a bold and then we have their name of that particular country now how would you make sure that the name of that particular country get displayed uh, for that we are going to convert the country name into the str format so that we get from temp dot i lock for that particular column that is we are going to get from i index and then here we have a country all right now you see here we have got it for this particular and then similarly i'm going to put there a plus sign and then i'm going to copy it then after that I'm going to paste it for the province and state as well. And there you will get province and state. After that again I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it here. And now I'm going to provide their confirmed cases. And in that confirmed cases, we have their confirmed cases. And then finally, I'm going to paste it for the deaths. Now we have the death here. Let's go ahead and uh, provide the radius as well. So we have here a radius in the form of int temp dot i lock that is for ith index. Then we have their confirmed cases. All right. Then after that, I'm gonna take there a square root of that particular radius so that we can do with one point zero point five. And once it is done, then I'm going to add here a map that is add underscore 2m. All right. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and run it. Now you should see, I think there is some invalid syntax. Let me see what is the error there. It says that. All right. I think the error is here. I need to put there. All right. A comma. Let's go ahead and run it. It might take a little time to show this complete plot, but now you see there is a very beautiful plot. So it has this world map and the zoom starts with the one and then we can zoom it four times there. All right. So this is the four time zoom. And then these are the countries. So we have here a United States. In the United States, we have these total number of cases and other countries and their province there. And then we have their uh, China and uh, then their province. All right. Perfect. So you see the cases for all other countries. So the current cases in India, we have a 62.8 thousand cases and 2100 deaths has been occurred in this country. And they are in New Zealand, if you see, even if you can zoom it, in fact, in the New Zealand, we have total 1,494 confirmed cases. All right, perfect. So this is all about in this lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in next lesson where we will start with confirmed cases with the animation.